Good afternoon, everybody. Trying to get situated over here. Um, today is November 26, 2019, and I am Overland. Hope you guys have been having a good day. Um, we are shy of what? under a month until Christmas and the fun thing about that is right after that following week is New Year's and I just learned about what less than 24 hours ago that Samoans actually um, on the lunar calendar they um, celebrate New Year's in November but if you want more information on that, just log on to my Facebook. And I posted, it was from a good friend slash brother, um, Jake Fitzmanu. So every time I log on, I try to find new places to film because I just can never get the right lighting or the um, right positioning without shaking it. And you guys are like, really? Um, sorry, and here we go with the text messages. Um, but anyways, so I was thinking a few about a few things to talk about today, and being that it's almost Christmas and it's almost Thanksgiving this week, I don't know about you guys, but holidays in our household can be so stressful. Now, if it's stressful for you guys. What are some ways that you guys try to get through it? Because as for me and my family, there are rarely any holidays that we are not heated or somebody's disagreeing with somebody about something. And I just wanted to see what you guys do to get over over your um, holiday, holiday disagreements. We'll put it like that. Um, and so... That was something that was on my mind, and then um, what sparked even more thought to that that um, realization that holidays can be really stressful for people, especially if you're OCD. I was thinking of my favorite quote, and that is, be the solution. Be the solution to the problem. Whatever the problem is, be the solution. And I could be, what? Mm -hmm. I could be um, labeled as the one who is the problem. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm not. I am the solution. Or I try to find the solution. But here's the thing. When you are in a group and you are trying to figure out whatever, and this doesn't only have to go with, um, with, Holidays. This could be like group projects, group, group anything. I myself hate groups because um, my intention in any group is always to come with solutions and to help us to get to the result. But when you're dealing with different personalities, that's not always the case because certain people want it one way. Half the group might agree with one person and half the group another. And that's just a bunch of bunch of unnecessary unnecessary energy put to unsuccessful results because at the end of the day if people don't agree then people are just all over the place and so I'm making light of it because I just I've lived too long and I just know when I have my family um, I refuse if my even if my kids are like Bio, um, totally different from me. I refuse that something as special as a holiday will be spent in anger. And um, so if you're a stressed out person, you get stressed out like, oh gosh, I need to have every place sit, setting like perfect or the meal has to be perfect or everything has to be perfect. I'm telling you, you are going to live a life of holidays very unhappy because then nobody's going to want to be around you because you, you're a perfectionist and life is just not perfect. Nobody's perfect. 
food is not perfect. Getting people to places is not perfect because there's always somebody, I myself am the one who's obnoxiously early, and then there's people that are obnoxiously late, and there's people that just don't show up. Point is, I hope you guys have a happy holiday. I told you guys I was going to say happy Thanksgiving every day until Thanksgiving, and I hope that you count your blessings. There are people in the world that don't have people um, they can call family and they're actually spending holidays alone and so when you're facing whatever you're facing when it comes to the holidays whether it's lack of money lack of food lack of people um cooperating lack of anything let us just stand back peace peace say that to yourself peace is the goal and pause and pause and this is coming from overland that always ends up fighting with somebody on the holiday and it's not that I intentionally want to fight because it's exhausting but I can be petty I am queen petty sometimes I'm not always saint overland <laughs> and I yes I just named myself that but I just want you guys to see the contrast of that nothing's perfect no one's perfect Holidays are meant to bring people together, not keep them apart. Even though legit, I I wanted to like skip out on this Thanksgiving because of my own personal um, conflicts. But that's why I'm here to let you know nobody's perfect and you don't have to be perfect. All you need to be is you and that you fill yourself, your cup, your heart with love so that when people are around you, that they, if they hadn't already, they are inspired by you and your aura and spirit to be more peaceful and loving. And I'm still working on forgiving, so I don't even want to throw that out there, even though I kind of just did. But it just brings into perspective what is important and what is not. And what is not is trying to have the most fanciest gathering um, that's not important. What's important is that you're looking across the room, you see your brother, your sister, your new grandkids and your family, your aunties, your uncles that have always been there for you, um, your cousins, uh, everybody, your spouses, your maybe you didn't know, but you end up meeting your future spouse or your future girlfriend, boyfriend at this gathering because somebody brought them into the fold and now you're sharing and breaking bread. I hope that helps you guys. I It's helping me because, like I said, legit, I wanted to skip out on it this, this year. But I'm going to bring myself together and be of peace and peace. Many, many moments of med meditation in peace. I love you guys. We'll talk to tomorrow. Always here for you guys, either in inbox, have my number, email, hit me up. Okay, love you guys.